Hey everyone, it's Paul here, and I just want to make a really quick video where I'm catching up with my good friend Gareth. Oh, I'm going to mispronounce your name now. Pronovost. Yeah, you did well. Pronovost. Okay, this is Gareth. Gareth is a student of mine. Gareth took part in the How to Become a Virtual Consultant program a little while ago, and uh, since then, yeah, he's gone from strength to strength with his own virtual consulting business. Gareth is an Airtable consultant. So very similar to the kind of the work that I do with Asana and Pipedrive, Gareth is consulting on these software tools. And yeah, I'm just connecting with Gareth again. It's been a while since he went through the program and I'm just connecting today to just catch up and see how he's going. So now Gareth, um, why don't you take it away? Just tell, tell me a little bit about just sort of the progress you've made since, since going through the program and a bit of uh, share your story. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be happy to. Um, Paul, in all honesty, I'm, I'm grateful to have the opportunity to talk to the other folks that are considering taking your course, because as I've shared with you before, uh, it was probably the best investment I ever made. Um, I saw an immediate, uh, yeah, no, it's two thumbs up, man, seriously. Um, I did see an immediate return on that investment. Um, and it, I mean, it was, it was overnight, really. Um, I, I, I studied your content. I went through it um, voraciously and just, you know, devoured it. And, uh, and I, I was uh, telling you, I think that uh, previously I had been, I was laid off a little bit, a little more than a year ago now. Um, so I've been, I've been uh, struggling. I wasn't sure exactly where I was going to be headed after that. And I was a bit uh, disenamored by, uh, by working for someone else. And I thought, gosh, you know, I bet I could just kind of do this on my own. And I was not seeing a lot of progress while I was just trying to do my own thing. But uh, after having taken your course, um, a couple things really spoke to me. Um, is it okay if I speak to those things here on the call? And Please, uh, without yeah, going yeah. Into too much? Yeah. I mean, I don't want to give away uh, all, the, all the wisdom that in your course, but there were a couple things that really stood out. Um, one of them was about value pricing. I went from being an hourly uh, or predominantly hourly consultant to, to pricing um, my engagements on a, on a package basis. And uh, that was huge. That was a huge, huge uh, game changer for me. But I think even bigger than that was learning how to uh, niche out and really pick that specialty. So, um, you know, as you know, I came from a finance background, and so I was trying to be a finance and accounting type of person to a lot of small businesses, and I didn't really have a clear vision of what that was. Yeah. Uh, and then it, it really almost happened by accident. You know, I was it, just one of the many softwares that I was using at, at the time is Airtable, or was Airtable. And uh, a friend of mine, not even, not even a, a client, but a friend, I, I had shown him this software, and he, he thought it was amazing. And then when I saw what he had done with it, I thought, gosh, you're only scratching the surface. You know, you, there's so much more you can do here. Let me do this for you. And, and that's when I realized, like, oh, this, this, there's so much crossover, right, between yeah. what Airtable does. Airtable uh, is a, a relational database, right? And so it really aligned well with, uh, with a finance background. And uh, before you knew it, like, I, I was one of the only Airtable experts in the space. And I don't know if... It's true where you are, but uh, I check my Google SEO rankings all the time, and I'm still I'm coming up on the first page now because I'm I, I niched out in this in this area, and uh, there's just not a lot of people in the space, and so that yeah. has more than anything just really uh, just worked wonders for me. You're just given open open new opportunities, I should say. So it's it's amazing because your your story, I just I feel like it is so similar to mine in so many ways. Like uh, you were you were a generalist, a bit like me. I was just like, oh, productivity consulting. And then it was when I niched down and I focused on Asana, almost by accident, just like you, I just found, oh wow, there's people that need help with Asana. And by accident, I just started doing yeah. it and and very quickly was able to start earning like a really decent income. Um, so no, it, it's just amazing how similar our stories align. And with, like you said, with the niching down, how that can help with your Google and getting discovered and having people approach you. So it's, it's so funny hearing your story, but um, do you mind commenting at all and, and sharing any any details on like kind of what are you charging what are you making now from from the consulting what is that like sure sure um so i, I mean i can get as specific in this as you'd like i'm i'm you know it's really an open book and i have i have no secrets so however i can help you most is i'm happy to because i feel like i owe you a debt in so many ways um that said uh when i started this i was actually getting married in jamaica um so I was, I had put up a couple of YouTube videos and I flew over to Jamaica and my wife, now wife, and I, uh, we got married there and I came back uh, in like the second week of July. And lo and behold, I had a, a couple of appointments lined up from those YouTube videos. And I thought, 
oh, that's the first time that's ever happened. That's, um, and so I started off and in that first month, I, I want to say I probably had six or seven calls uh, with, with potential you know, prospects. And I think three of them bought, uh, it's been, it's been a few months. So forgive me if I've stalled. Yeah, three of them, two of them bought at the second tier. And I think back then that second tier was at like 2,500 uh, us. So that was five grand. And then the third person bought at the third tier, which was like over six grand. So that first month I booked, uh, just over 10 K in revenue. Um, and I was like sold, right. It wasn't even a full month, right. It was like three wow. weeks, maybe two weeks. And I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> so hold on, so, hold on. Um, you'd, been, you'd been on your honeymoon. You got back and yeah. you had people yeah. already lining up to, they'd found you, they'd approached you. You didn't have to do any outreach. They were lining up to work with you. You had six calls, half of them booked. Uh, so that's a great conversion yeah. rate. And you did 10K in your first month, which wasn't even a full month. <laughs> yeah, I know it sounds, it sounds ridiculous. Um, and if, if I were... If I were telling my, if I were talking to myself six months ago, I, w I honestly wouldn't have believed it. I've been like, that's, you know, there's no way that's real. Um, but it, it, I really do credit it to the knit down because, you know, there are, there are no, there are just no people in Airtable, right? So, yeah, and yeah. it's a very, um, it's, 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 it's an open platform, but nobody has, very few people have said, hey, I'm, I'm really good at this, like, and here's, here's how you can find me. Yeah. So, uh, you know, your course talked uh, a lot about um, a Google advertising, and I tried that a little bit, just Google AdWords, and that never really stuck for me, but uh, I did find that by going on YouTube and just recording like a short 10-minute video, and I would demonstrate something, right? So it was all like value add. Yeah. Um, and I'd put, at that time, I think I was putting like $5 a day behind a video, and that would get me so many hundred views, and and then I'd have a call to action on that video that just said, hey, if you... If, if this is all, if, if this is the kind of content you like, then please subscribe. And then if, if you would like to schedule a call and we can talk about, you know, some, uh, some custom work, uh, you know, I'd be happy to do that. I've got a half an hour free consultation model kind of thing. Right. And, and that's how I booked out those first six appointments. And, uh, it was seriously, it was off of $5 advertising per day. Wow. Which, I mean, now I'm like, God, that's so small. But back then I was nervous because I was like, man, five bucks, that's 150 bucks a month. Now I'm spending like, you know, six X, six times that, I think I'm at about 800, 850 a month now in advertising costs. But um, yeah, back then it was just an experiment. And I mean, what yeah. a great, what, I mean, I'll spend $150 to earn f six potential leads. Yeah, that's yeah. a no brainer. You know, it's, I mean, this is what I said in, in the course as well is like, you just got to find the channels that work for you. So something I've tried, you know, it's Google advertising, and it's worked really well for me, you tried it, right. it didn't quite work, but you found that YouTube has worked really well. And you're happy to put some budget behind that. And so it's, it's great to see you really like took on board the lesson from the program and have applied it to what you're doing, you found that thing that's working. And now you can really double down on it. So that is, um, that is really cool. Um, cool. Any anything else yeah. to share in terms of like, your experience? or like words of uh, advice to anyone thinking about consulting? Wow, you know, it's, I, I, okay. the, fir the first thing I would say is, is if you're considering doing it, just do it. Like make the investment. And I'm not just talking about the dollars in your course particularly. I mean, the full investment, you know, the, the talk to your, your significant other, if you have one, talk to your family and say, this is something that I, I want to do. And, uh, and can you, w will you be willing to bear with me while I kind of figure my way out? Because in all honesty, I mean, it might look like overnight success, right? I took your course and then a month later I was earning, you know, five figure income, um, money income, but, but it wasn't really overnight because I had struggled for months trying to put it all together. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it took a while before I even found you. So, I mean, there's definitely that. So if, if you have an interest in it, like you have to commit to it and you have to, um, and this is just true for entrepreneurship in general. You have to be okay with saying, I'm, I'm, I don't know the answer, but I'm willing to experiment. Right. And so, so really just, just trying out new things. And, uh, and I mean, I didn't know if, if the YouTube ads would work and now I am like the guy on YouTube for Airtable. So, yeah. um, you know, you, you have to just try these things out and, and just see, you know, what's possible and, you know, and you know, stay positive. Yeah. I mean, that would be the best, <laughs> I think. That is that awesome. And, yeah, no, thank you. And, and I, if just, I can, I don't mean to interrupt you, but one other thing to add to that would just be, uh, don't underprice yourself. And this yeah. is something I really took away from the value pricing, but even 
when I started, um, I know I was just anxious to, to get any revenue, right? And one person, uh, my, my prices have gone up considerably now mm. compared to what I, I had. I'm not closing as many deals anymore. Not, not the same, uh, I don't close at 50% anymore, but I'm making more revenue. And so I'm working less for more revenue, um, which is a good thing. And uh, at least in my book, and yeah, totally. Um, well, if, if you don't mind sharing, uh, what, what is yeah. what is a good month for you, or what is what is the best month you've had? If you don't, if you mind sharing some numbers. Yeah, sure. Just twenty k has been my best month. Nice. Um, wow. Four deals. Yeah, four deals at a you know an average click of uh, you know forty five hundred um, per project now. So that's what I'm looking. And 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 you know, feel free to edit this out later if you, if it's fluff. But I it's gotten to the point where I'm. Uh, my, my hourly rate when I do offer an hourly engagement started at $80. It's now at 150. It'll mm -hmm. probably be going up to 200 soon. Um, I'm, I'm building software uh, platforms for other people using Airtable that we're going to sell at an enterprise level. So like people come to me and they say, Hey, we need this thing built, but I don't have the budget. And so I say, well, would you be willing to do some rev share and sell this product to other people who need it like you? And we'll build it out and then so you know we're kind of offering it in that regard i mean there's just so many opportunities that kind of unveil themselves as you kind of go down this rabbit hole and it's it's a constant struggle with for me every day finding out um where i can be of the most value and uh and uh, and at the same time also you know keep the business growing and and bring in healthy revenue but uh, you know, it hasn't really slowed since it started and I'm sure that I'm sure there will be hard months in the future But uh, it's been a wild ride so far That's awesome. That's really it's so good to hear your progress And I, I want to come back and talk about I uh, just comment on what you said about you really do have to commit to this So if I mean this video is not designed as, as a sales pitch I just wanted to just hit record while I was talking to Gareth and just just use just hear your story um, yeah. but anyone thinking about buying the program, there is no point spending the money on it if you are expecting an overnight success, like it does take the work. And for me, for, uh, for example, I spent years trying to sell like digital products and build like an income doing completely other things. And I had to sort of try a lot of things before I even started the consulting. And even then, yeah, I mean, I had a, a great first month as well. Um, I didn't do 10K in my first month. Man, I wish that that would have been awesome. Um, <laughs> but but yeah, it is it is just the kind of thing you need to yeah have that conversation with your significant other, really ask yourself like are you willing to commit to this and give it a good go um so no i just just want to yeah comment on that but no um i think uh it's it's been it's been great just like following your progress and, and seeing how well you've done and i i'm sort of similar to you every now and then i do have these pinch me moments where i think a few years ago if you said um like oh if i i, I just did my first 30k month last month and um that was actually a combination of consulting <laughs> and and some other stuff that i do now as well and that's actually something yeah. i will say is like it's great when you do have this great income from the consulting it means you can then spend some time on like i've been doing my podcast sponsorship now i've obviously got the products that i sell it means right. that i have some some income and some time i can put into other areas um but what was i going to say yeah i saw it sort of have some of these pinch me moments where it's like geez i i, I that's that's crazy like I nearly last month earned more in one month than my the, the salary I started on as a graduate student and that, that's my <laughs> wife and I was like is that real late so it's crazy yeah if you really put yeah. time and if you give it a go you, you, it's amazing what results you can achieve yeah yeah uh, and I know this is informal so you know feel free to edit as you need but uh this this thought popped in my mind so when I was laid off after I was laid off I went to work for on a contract basis for um, a public company here in the US, obviously, that, uh, you know, they're on the um, New York Stock Exchange. And, uh, and I got hired when I was, I was a contracting me and they were paying me the equivalent of, well, $35 an hour. Um, so I think that comes out to about 75,000 a year. And, and that's, that's around what I was making in the salary before and out on my own, which, which is a perfectly, you know, respectable salary. And it's, it's, you know, it's fantastic. The guy I was working for, and I know this because I was in finance to get to see all these numbers, right? The guy I was, the guy I reported to made 120 a year plus bonus. And the guy he reported to was making 300 a year. Wow. And then shortly thereafter, the guy, the guy who I was reporting to, uh, who was, you know, at a, like a director level, uh, he was laid off and then they offered me his position and they lowballed me at 90. And I was so hard up at the time. I almost took it. And had I not known that he made 120, and that they were basically insulting me by offering me this low salary. Uh, 
I mean, 25% reduction, that's pretty massive, right? $30,000 off of 120 is, is pretty massive. Um, and so, and so I, I turned it down and I said, no, thanks. You can either give me 120 or you can offer it to someone else. And that is probably the best decision I ever made, <laughs> aside from taking your course, because here I am, you know, making that on my own, on my own time, working in my spare bedroom, you know, office here at home, uh, as opposed to driving a half an hour each way and, yeah. you know, commuting and, and sitting in a cubicle and, uh, you know, forget it. I'm now my own boss and, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot more work if I'm I, being honest. I, I but definitely wouldn't have reward. it any other way. I definitely wouldn't have it any other yeah. way. I much, much prefer the freedom and the flexibility that comes from setting your own schedule and, and getting to cooler shots and, and do what you want, do what you love and do what you're, you're good at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I hope, I hope this was helpful to anybody, you know, who, who is considering purchasing your course. Um, I, you know, I don't know that I told you this yet, but a few people have actually reached out to me on social media and said, Hey, I, I was thinking about taking Paul's course and uh, you know, you had a testimonial on there and what can, can you tell me a bit about it? And uh, All right. I always, you know, respond to them um, much the same way I'm responding now um, and just give them in, you know, whatever information I can, you know, offer them. But uh, I think, I think that's great. Um, so yeah, if, if, if you're thinking it might be the right fit, there's a good chance it is. So I would say yeah. take the risk and make the commitment and, and see what you can create because it's a, it's a rewarding journey. Oh, that's awesome. Well, no, thank you for all the kind words that you have to say. And it's great catching up today, hearing your progress. It really does. It makes me genuinely happy to um, have gone through this experience myself and being able to share that with other people. Because I know that this idea of uh, living a life of like independence, freedom, working on your terms is something that so many people are, are wanting and want to achieve. And it's so possible now with technology. Uh, it's just great that having gone through that experience, I can share it with other people and, and to have helped you in some way is just uh, very, very rewarding for me. So no, thank you. It's been, it's been great hearing of your progress. Yeah. Thanks. Anytime, Paul.